In this video series, we're looking at databases from the Delphi environment, how we can interact with tables that are stored on a database from Delphi side. And in this example, we're just going to be trying to find the max and min value of a particular field in a table. So let's just recap how do we interact with the database. First of all, we're going to be working with the ADO table component. In our case, it's called TBLCD. And all of our methods that we use interact with this component, the ADO table. The first step is ironically tblcd.first, in other words, go to the first record in the database table. And then we will loop from one from this from the first record because we are currently at the first record until we get to the end of the table. And inside this loop, we will do what we need to do with each and every individual record. And before we, we finished a record, once we've done, we will then move to the next record. So there's this little pointer that points to whichever record we are currently working with. And so we start at the first and we loop through all of them until the end of the, the table. And then inside, how do we know to move on? We move to the next record by saying tblcd.next. Just a reminder about how to interact with each record. When we are trying to access values from a record, wherever that pointer is, we use t the name of the ADO table followed by square brackets followed by the name of the field that you're trying to access. In this case, we're trying to access the value from the artist field of the current record that is selected or that the point is at. And that will give us access to that particular value. Um, and so we need to just be aware of what data type it is. In this case, it's a, um, a string or a text field. So therefore, we must store that result if we are storing it in a string variable. It must match. So if if the field that we're referring to is a number field, then we need an appropriate number variable to store that in, for example, a real or an integer. So here's the example we were working with. Um, in the previous videos, we did the average and do some searching. The average, you can find the max and min replacement value. I'm just going to work out the max replacement value, and then we'll skip over to the min. So when I click on this button, we want to clear the memo control because we're going to display our answers there. And we need to find the max value. Now, we are working with TBLCD. Now, you'll see TBLCD doesn't work because it's on a data module in DMCD underscore U. So you actually have to refer to the data module first and then the TBLCD and then you can access the dot first. And you're going to have to do this for each and every one of our uh, methods that we have with TBLCD, which is going to be annoying. So I'm actually not going to do that. I'm actually going to use a with DMCD do and put a begin end here. And so now, if I put whatever I put in between this begin and end here, we'll add the DMCD in front of it. So now you see it does work now because it's basically, if we say with, it's adding that DMCD in front of all my TBL CDs. So this is the end of the with. So that's going to be, ooh, need slash slash here. So that's how we're going to be working with the data module. If you're, if you're, TBLCD um, or ADO table, if that is in the actual form, if it was actually it's installed here, actually connected here, you wouldn't need this. But because it's on another data module, that's how we need to interact with it. And so we're going to go while not TBLCD dot end of file, going through my algorithm. This is the end of the while loop. And we do what we need to do. And then before we move on, we say tblcd.next. So there's my three steps. What are we going to do? We're going to find the max value. Now, whenever we're trying to find the max value, we are going to set max is going to store what is the max value. What is our winning value at the moment? Well, when we start, our max value must be very, very must be the opposite of what it is. So I'm going to make it very, very small because I want whatever max value we get on our first record to make sure that it beats it because we need to record the max value in the table. So I'm going to, so you set it to the, you initialize it to the opposite of what you want. So the max, you initialize it to the opposite, a very, very small number. And then I'm going to say, if the replacement value, how do I get the, it's TBLCD square bracket. Inside the square brackets, we write down the name of the field. Like that, make sure it's spelled correctly. If the replacement value, because we're going to be at the first record, just to make sure we don't get confused. Let's do this so that we don't get confused in our orders. Doesn't make a difference, but I just like to see my algorithm in its steps. There. So if the replacement value that we get from the first record, if that's bigger than my R max, then we now have a new max 
value. If that's the case, end of if if that's the case, if we found a new maximum, then we need to record our new maximum. We don't want this negative nine nine nine. We want this one that we just found. So our max must now equal to whatever this replacement value is that is beating our R max. And we also want to record what the, the max data is. In other words, which artist and so on. So S max data is a string. And I'm going to make it equal to TBL CD um, artists or no CD name. Uh, plus a like we did in the previous video, like some brackets, and then inside the brackets we'll put the artists. Artists. With square brackets, not curly brackets. There we go. And then we're gonna put another bracket at the end. Okay, so basically when we find the max, we can then find the CD name and the artist, put it in that format. So it's CD name, brackets, artist, brackets. So, and then that will display will record whatever the biggest uh, CD is at that particular time, the replacement value was. And then it'll move to the next record. And if the next record has got a bigger replacement value, it will then record that as the new maximum and record that CD and so on. So that's what you could do. So let's try that. And then at the end, let's just in mem display dot lines dot add. We're just going to display S max data and I'm going to put the word max in front max L max plus max data so it's going to say which with the max okay so we can run it and let's see what it does so we're going to go max boom and black and white the walkman is the max so if I look for black and white the CD name black and white do 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 there, 200. Oh, that seems like it is the biggest, but there are quite a few that are probably 200. Oh, there are quite a few. In this case, you see there are lots of them that are actually that value. If that's the case, then actually what I want to do, I don't want to just replace or show one. In this case, I actually want to do two searches. Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to delete to make this a little bit nicer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first find out what the biggest replacement value is. So I'm going to cut that out. I'm not going to display recorded I'm just going to find what the biggest value is and then once I've found the biggest value which in this case will be 200 I'm then going to go again through the database this way boom, boom. I'm going to do a brand new database a new loop sorry CD dot first I'm going to go through a second time while not TBL CD dot end of file begin end end of while tblcd dot next so I'm going to almost include the search what we did in the previous video if the replacement value tblcd replacement value if that replacement value of each record is the same as my max value that means it's one of the matching ones not s max r max if it's so we find the max value and then we go through it a second time and we find any record that mat that has the same replacement value as the max. If that's the case, then we are going to say, okay, memo lines, we're going to actually add it like we did here. But instead of adding it to S max, we're just going to add it straight to the memo. Memo display dot lines dot add. And we're going to add this. So just to recap, in this case, because there are lots of them that could have the same replacement value, that all the same max value. So what we first do is we first go through the entire table to try to find what is the actual max value. And in this case, we find that it's 200. And then we're going to go through the table a second time and display all the records, all the CD names and artists of those records where the replacement value matches that 200 because there are multiple ones. And then we don't need to do this anymore. So all I'm going to do is just say, have a nice little label here, say max mem display dot lines dot add. We're going to add the word max replacement value. So 
let's try that boom boom that's a very different type of max so if i do that so there we go through you'll see black and white if we go to chapter v oh you go to chapter v boom chapter v that's also 200 and then we go to chariot that's also 200 so it's listing all the ones that are 200 replacement value so they're quite a few so you see it's very efficient it's more efficient this way that we find all of them because one doesn't make doesn't make that much of a difference if we just find one this way we can find all of them that match the 200. so this is what we would use if you were finding a max value and there's a possibility that lots of records could have that max value if i wanted to do the min the min would be exactly the same the only difference is instead of finding the max value of the uh, you would use arm and you would initialize it to the opposite of what it is so you want to find the smallest number so you would have to find a very very big number and then instead of finding the values that are bigger than our max you'd find the values that are less than you would over here say less than arm um, that are smaller than that value so the first one would definitely beat 999 and then you would so and so and then you would find and you record that as your arm so that's how you would do an arm example okay so it's just a little slight variation of it for more videos in this video series go to our youtube channel click on the subscribe button and leave us a like we'd love to hear from you so please leave a comment and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way